New tonight, we're hearing from those who knew the man tragically killed in a fiery crash in Attleboro Friday night. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Police say 55 year old Terrence Elder of Stoughton was killed when he was driving on Route 123 and crashed into a tree, his vehicle going up in flames. His passenger was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Elder was co owner of a car wash on Route 1 in Attleboro, and that's where we find 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts, who spoke to his business partner. She joins us now from Attleboro with how Elder is being remembered tonight. Amanda. Terrence Elder is being remembered as someone who was larger than life. His business partner for the last 15 years at the car wash behind me says he was a car enthusiast, and that's why he can't believe he died the way he did while driving his pride and joy. From outside Triple Play Car Wash in Attleboro, it's business as usual. But inside, the employees here are in mourning. On Friday, their boss, Terrence Elder, was killed in a single car crash just minutes down the road. He was a well-known guy. He was primarily a people person. Dave Ellard co-owns the car wash on Route 1 along with Elder. He says on Friday night, the 55-year-old had just closed the shop at 5. About 20 minutes later is when first responders arrived at a wreck on Route 123 to find Elder's vehicle engulfed in flames. He went for a ride in his Pride and Joy, which is a 1987 Buick Grand National that he bought brand new. Police say he crashed into a tree. Elder was pronounced dead on scene, and his passenger, a man in his mid-30s, was rescued from the vehicle by Good Samaritans and was taken to the hospital. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office says speed appears to have been a factor in the crash. He was a careful guy, a, a polite guy. It just doesn't fit his personality. His personality that Eller describes as magic. The employees didn't look at him as the boss. They looked at him as a brother or a dad. Everybody just thought they were his friend. And that's, I think, the magic in Terrence. Their employees, after taking this weekend off to mourn, are now back at work for Terrence. They came to me yesterday and said, you know, let's be fully open Monday because we think Terrence would have wanted it that way. And so they're taking his work ethic and what they learned from him and saying, we, we, we got to keep the business going strong. Elder leaves behind two teenage kids, one who is going off to college this fall. At last check, his passenger, who isn't being identified but is from Fall River, is in serious condition at Rhode Island Hospital. In Attleboro, I'm Amanda Pitts, 12 News.